Hey you guys, I decided to film another what I eat in a day. Of course, I don't eat every single item every single day, but it's just an example of the types of things I like to reach for in my kitchen. If you guys would like to see this video, stick around. The first item up is morning tea, but it's actually not tea at all. I just didn't know what else to call it. Um, you just need apple cider vinegar. Make sure it has the mother in it, a lemon, honey, and cinnamon. And right now I'm just filling up a cup of hot water and I'm using my Keurig to do so. This drink is really good to jumpstart your metabolism. I just really wouldn't drink it every single day because the ACV is high in acidity. So I would do it about three times a week. All I use is two tablespoons of the ACV, one lemon wedge, honey just to sprinkle in for taste, and a few shakes of the cinnamon, and I'm done and I stir it around. Key to making this taste good is to either make it really cold or really hot. When it's lukewarm, it, no, just no. So here I am on Snapchat, make sure you follow me. For breakfast, I'm making scrambled eggs, but with a twist. So after breaking the egg into the pan, I do break the yolk and I use the shell. So just be sure you don't have any shell in your eggs after doing that. Adding spinach to your eggs is a great way to hide your vegetables. I swear you can't taste it whatsoever. And you could add a little bit more than I did. I added about a fistful and I swear you can't taste it whatsoever. The cherry tomatoes and the hot cherry peppers are the two stars of this dish. They make it taste so good. I definitely recommend if you haven't tried it before. To add just a bit more spice, I add hell of a good jalapeno jack cheese and hot pepper cheese. I just wanted to use the rest of this, so I added that to the dish as well. Just keep stirring. You don't want those eggs and that cheese to burn at the bottom of your pot and you'll know when it's finished, when it's no longer gooey. I paired this with the mandarin oranges. You guys already know how much I love them and a pre-made hash brown that I just popped into the oven. And here we go. I get so excited to wake up in the morning just so I can make this dish. It's so good, so hearty, so flavorful. I love it. You guys should try it. Next, I'm making a simple sandwich. I do like my bread toasted and I love hummus. I get this hummus from Aldi and it's garlic and it's so good. It's way better to use this instead of Miracle Whip or mayonnaise or whatever you prefer for your spread. Next I'm adding turkey, spinach, and pepperonis. Not the deli style pepperonis, but if you have the deli style, make sure you add that instead. I also found these garlic and chive pita crackers from Aldi. They are so delicious, so I'm eating these with my sandwich. I include a mandarin orange and lunch is served. To make this tropical smoothie, you're going to need fruit. Now, my favorite place to get the fruit is Aldi. I actually went to the grocery store and I went to the regular one and the dull frozen fruit was $6. This bag of fruit was $2.09. Always get your frozen fruit from Aldi. I'm using about a fistful and a half of the frozen fruit. You also need six ounces of pineapple juice. This little thing packs so much sugar, so if you would like to dilute it, you can do maybe three ounces of the pineapple juice and three ounces of water. <music> Lastly, you need yogurt to thicken it. I use this Light and Fit, it's really good. Um, you can also use Greek yogurt, I've tried that before. I just had this Light and Fit on hand, so that's what I'm using. Be sure that you're blending this for about 30 seconds. I usually blend it for about 45 seconds to one minute. Mm -hmm. 
This is such a refreshing treat and it's highly addictive. I try not to make more than one of these a week and I usually pair it with pistachios or almonds or snacks like that. It's so good together. To make the chicken and broccoli stir fry, I'm starting with two chicken breasts that I cubed up. Next, I'm adding the egg whites from one egg. Also going to sprinkle in a bit of cornstarch. Lastly, I toss the chicken in about a cap size amount of olive oil. I fry the chicken on medium high. I found mushrooms in the refrigerator from a previous dinner, so I threw that into the pan. I also used broccoli and I made sure to boil this for about four to five minutes. I stir it all together to fuse all the juices. The sauce is really easy to make. All you need is one cup of chicken broth and a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. And I'm adding in garlic and if you want you can add ginger I just didn't have any on hand so I just added the garlic I add the sauce to the pan and let all the juices fuse together for about four minutes this is seriously one of my favorite meals to make for dinner it is so delicious. I always get so many compliments from my family about how great it tastes and it's very hearty. That is it you guys. If you guys recreate any of these meals on Instagram, please tag me at Q in the kitchen. I would really love to see what you guys think up. I appreciate you joining me today. If you would like more food videos and what I eat in a day videos, please like this and comment on this video. I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye.